Good day. Thanks for joining me as we talk about the non-selective alpha adrenergic blocking drugs. Phentolamine is an intravenous or intramuscular non-selective alpha adrenergic blocking agent. In other words, phentolamine blocks the adrenaline or epinephrine binding to the alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. And blocking the alpha-1 adrenergic receptors results in a decrease in tone in the vasculature and a vasodilation. Phentolamine is most often used in the control of hypertensive emergencies. Phentolamine is also used to prevent tissue death at the injection site of adrenaline because it has absolutely opposite effects at the tissue level in the injection site of adrenaline. So let's take a look at these drugs a bit closer. Phentolamine is a non-selective alpha blocker. So in other words, it binds to the alpha-1 receptor and it binds to the alpha-2 receptor. And to truly understand the actions and side effects of phentolamine, what we need to do is know what the alpha-1 and the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors do. So phentolamine binds to the alpha-1 receptor and that causes a profound vasodilation. So it's blocking the constrictive actions of the adrenaline that results in vasodilation. But it's also non-selective for the alpha-1, meaning that it hits the alpha-2 as well. And this is where it becomes complicated because the alpha-2 receptor, it's there to make sure that the adrenaline response doesn't go out of control. So by blocking the effects of the alpha-2 receptor, we basically block the negative feedback. So the bottom line is that by binding to the alpha-2 receptor, we wind up with this big release of noradrenaline, which actually increases the heart rate and the contractility. So phentolamine is used primarily in hypertensive crisis because of the fact that it has such a profound dilation of the blood vessels. But it does come along with some profound side effects, including tachycardia, angina, myocardial infarction, cerebral vascular accident, flushing of the skin, and arrhythmias. Phentolamine is also used to reverse the vasoconstrictive effects of adrenaline. Uh, most often in that local area of adrenaline injection because the adrenaline has such a profound vasoconstrictive action in that local area that it oftentimes, when it's injected, in, in, there is oftentimes a, an area of necrosis and phentolamine is used to reverse that uh, constriction. <laughs>